Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, June 24th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I allow myself the full experience of feeling my feels. And hello, welcome back. Welcome back me. Welcome back you. Um, here we are digging into sun and cancer and we have a quite a kind of quieter overall week this week like no major super shifts until the weekend and hopefully hopefully chiller vibes than we have been having we will have saturn going retrograde next saturday um, Saturn will be going retrograde in Pisces for several months, so that's kind of a big thing. But besides that, it's just kind of like a keep on swimming kind of week. Now today, we have two parts to the day. We wake up to some, I would say, sunny energy. We have the moon in Aquarius, the moon in Aquarius feeling the vibes, being like, it's going to be a good day and it's making connection with Jupiter, Jupiter in Gemini. So when Aquarius and Jupiter get together, oh my gosh, it is genius. There are ideas, um, inspiration, uh, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to get to, but just the vibe is uplifting and it feels like it's like, oh, we can do anything. We can go anywhere got some rebel energies this is a great time for connection and friendship and communication and like good things and I feel like these these two cards possibilities and the rebel really work with this energy we then have the moon continue on and this is kind of our interim card the slowing down card and the moon and Mars will be squaring. So the moon again in Aquarius, squaring Mars in Taurus. Now, I've been saying this for a while. We have so many more of these Taurus Aquarius squares to experience where it's like, I just want to be in the place of possibility. I want to be in the good. I want to see it happening. And the universe is like, it is happening slowly. <laughs> and then we feel this, the constriction, and we get to spinning in our mind, maybe it's not supposed to happen, blah, 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 all those things that we do. I think it's a good thing that we feel both. I think it's great to allow ourselves to feel the frustrations because sometimes when we have those frustrations, like it's showing that it has something to it. There's some weight to it. It matters. Um, our feelings are always trying to like, show us something, right? And so in this case, it's showing us something here matters to you. I also think that slowing down, this reminder over and over and over from the universe in the cosmos is also helpful and important because we have so many things that we can like instantly pull up our phone and be like, boop, 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 what's going on? And, you know, we have that instant satisfaction. Good things can also take time, right? And so I think that that's part of this reminder. Now it's interesting that the moon, Mars, and the nodes are all connecting at 11 degrees. I'll be checking if there's anything else at 11, that's it. So 11 degrees is one of those master degrees. So there's a master lesson in this for us. Whether the master lesson is one of patience, whether it is reminding us that Slow and steady wins the race and it's okay that things take time and things take the time that it takes. Um, or if it's just part of these overall lessons, making sure that we have time to get all the lessons in because trust, there are lessons. There is mastery in this. I also think it's a slowdown because we get so stirred up and so frenetic in this world and especially with strong air energy which we have going on here that we don't stop and like tune into ourselves sun and cancer is like <laughs> stop drop and roll into your feelings um and north node at 11 degrees in aries is reminding us oh that's an interesting note we'll have to go there next north node at 11 degrees aries is reminding us that who we are and who we are becoming and those layers of ourself that we're shoving off 
really also does matter. Now what I was saying is interesting is they don't show me on this chart, which is why it doesn't always necessarily register immediately, but the south node also is hanging out at 11 degrees and it's going to be trining the moon and it's going to be working in an inconjunct with Mars. And this is interesting because, you know, the south node can always show us areas where we tend to fall into the same pattern over and over and over again. And this may be in relationship with ourselves, which is a big part of it, in relationship with others, even in relationship with the universe. So watch where you find yourself getting impatient, whether it's with the universe or with yourself or with the future unfolding. Watch for that energy. All of this 11 degrees energy, like I said, is major. This is a great time, I think, as well with this connection to slow down and take some time to imagine yourself, who you are in the future that you are watch you're wanting to unfold, holding on to those possibilities, you know, despite, despite feeling, I don't know, the impatience or whatever you're feeling. I think this is great energy to journal. It's very air. <laughs> like we have all air signs, you know, activated and accounted for in this. Actually, to be fair, for the next year for the most part, minus a few months when uh, Pluto goes back into Capricorn, we're going to have all three air signs like activate. Maybe not the next year, but at least until the end of the year. We're gonna have a lot of times with this activated and that air wants to help move us. The mind wants to help move us through our imagination, through our envisioning, through our creativity with it, but watch the impatience because the impatience, it's like the image that I just got is like pulling a thread on the sweater and like the whole sweater unwinding. So watch for that because Divine timing is real <laughs> and it has purpose. And when we can sink into that and we, we can trust it, even if we rage a little bit, because we got to feel the feels, right? <laughs> even if we rage a little bit, there is purpose in and through this. So, like I said, two parts of the day, you may feel those frustrations coming on. I think I should mention that by the end of the day as well, we're moving into our first Revolution Evolution Day. So, the sun will be hitting four degrees. That's at Uranus energy. Again, there's going to be triggers and it comes because like the three degree energy, that's a degree of expansion. It wants to grow. It wants to break through the glass ceiling and it does. And then it finds the next layer, you know? And so <laughs> there's always that, the expansion and contraction of the universe. So we've expanded and now we hit this point um, where we got to go in and move them, some things around. So Watch for that energy coming in as well. I'm going to leave that there for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are for you are the solution. Namaste.